Welcome to the Full Tactical Range by Range Systems. I'm Bo Dobozinski, lead instructor for SEALed Mindset Training, and this is your rifle drill of the week. This week we're gonna work on emergency reloads. Emergency reloads, everybody's got an opinion on how that happens with rifles. Uh, some places only teach one particular type of emergency reload, some teach multiple types, some teach that when this goes down, you just swing it out of the way and get to that sidearm as fast as you can, and then do an administrative reload once you're all done. Now, this is an infinitely more effective defensive tool than this one is, and so if possible, I'd rather not give up my rifle to switch to something that's an inferior defense defensive tool. What that means then is, is when I go to do my emergency reloads, I need to learn how to do them extremely fast so that I can make the most out of this defensive tool while it's available to me. Now, I'm not saying that we wouldn't teach the ability to transition to sidearm um, if it was necessary. I'm just saying that's not my first choice given the option. We have two emergency reloads that we teach at Sealed Mindset. One's called an in-the-arm reload, and the other one is called an in-the-chest reload. The in the arm reload is once my bolt has gone to slide lock, you drop the magazine out, I'm gonna twist the firearm in here so it sits sort of in the crook of my elbow. And this allows me to make my reload and pre-present the firearm. That position I think works the best when you're working behind cover or concealment, where I'm limited in the depth that I'm available to leave my rifle but it's got a lot of movement to the rifle. The rifle goes from here to here and then back out to here in order for me to start re-engaging targets downrange. It takes a long time. We have another one that we do that's called in, in the chest reload. What that is is from the point that we've got magazine coming out, I'm gonna just leave the rifle right in place pick up my new magazine, it goes in, and I'm gonna drop the bolt right from there. In essence, as much as possible, the rifle doesn't move, the sights stay aligned on the target, and I get back to shooting as rapidly as we can. So we're gonna do a drill running the in the arm, and then we'll do one with the in the chest reload so that you can experience both of them. Our range setup today is straightforward. We've got a single target, ballpark 25 to 35 feet. Again, think about the biggest room that you have in your house. Set up the uh, targets such that you can get those really good, nice, high center of mass kinds of shots. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two magazines of two rounds. Uh, one magazine will be in the rifle, the other will be in my pouch or my pocket, however it is that I choose to carry my second magazine. If you do chest rig, it would be in your chest rig. If it's in your back pocket, put it there. However you set up your ability to do an emergency reload. And what we're gonna do is we're going to mount, we'll do two shots, uh, very quick hammer pair. Then we'll go ahead and conduct our emergency reload. That bolt should lock to the rear and then we'll hit hammer pair again. So two shots, emergency reload, two shots. Then we'll reset, assess, and conduct our 360 check. Let's start with our in the arm reload. Now that we've done our in the arm reload, we're going to do the in the chest one. The big deal with this is that we shouldn't let the rifle move out of our mounted position on the chest. So we're gonna leave it in that mounted position up. Single arm is gonna hold that uh, in place and we're gonna do that emergency reload. So same deal, mount, hammer pair, emergency reload, hammer pair. Uh, one of the things that uh, makes this work a lot better in my opinion is to add in uh, one of these uh, battery assist devices. The nice thing about these battery assist devices, I can run it with one digit. So I don't have to think about using the thumb. I, the only thing that this hand now does is put the magazine in or take the magazine out. And that makes uh, it a whole lot faster to be able to transition in between. So same thing as before, mount, hammer, pair, emergency reload, this time in the chest reload, hammer, pair, reset, assess, and 360 check. So try both of these emergency reloads, see which one works better for you. I've had some students that can do the in the arm reload almost as fast as I can do my in the chest reload. That's great. Uh, I think there's application for both of these types of reloads depending upon uh, where you are in relation to cover and concealment and your range to the threat. But work to the point where you can start to get these emergency reloads done really, really rapidly. The faster you can get it done, the longer you can keep a superior defensive tool instead of transitioning to an inferior one. So for Sealed Mindset, I'm Bo Dobozinski. Thanks for watching. Like what you saw? Subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep checking out the training blog for more tips and drills. If you'd like a PDF copy of this training drill, go to SealedMindsetTraining.com and to the PDF download section. There, type in the promo code, rifle drill number five.